Hey guys, uh, Celestron came with this new software called uh, Celestron PWI. PWI stands for Plain Wave Instruments. So if you have used any software these days and did the plate solving, you know pretty much that the science behind the plate solving is Plain Wave Instruments company is behind it. So let's say if you don't know what it's solving, uh, if you take a camera, take a picture of some part of the sky, and if you upload that uh, picture to the online service, it tells you by looking at the star patterns in your picture, it knows where your location is. So that's called plate solving. And the science behind the plate solving comes from this company called Plane Wave Instruments. So Celestron teamed up with them, created this software, the PWI software. I just touched the surface of the software. I actually didn't go through all the way. I just did a basic star alignment to see how it is. Uh, it also does the polar alignment. It also does the uh, plate solving based on the polar element and make sure your mount is good. I haven't gone that far, but I just downloaded the software, installed it, and it uh, just played around with it a little bit just to understand how it is working. There are a couple of things that you need to be careful about that software. Uh, you have to read the manual, make sure you download the drivers for, the, uh, for your computer because it's like really hot out of the press. So the software is built on latest and greatest drivers. So make sure your USB drivers are up to date. I think it will tell you in the quick guide reference. So please follow that. So let's get to work and I'll show you how I use the software. Okay, here is how the Celestron PWI software looks like. It kind of looks like Stellarium to me. You have to use like your USB cable and connect to the hand controller and connect. And it's uh, pretty simple. It connects through your USB through the hand controller. And then it comes up with this like review your time and date so you don't need to input that in the mount anymore that's pretty cool it's like you just bought yourself a gps based on your uh, internet so by the way it needs internet and you need to have polar alignment complete right so you have an internet connection it assumes that and it assumes the laptop that you're using and also you are already polar aligned that's what it's assuming right now so if you are kind of out there without internet, I don't know if this software will work. So anyway, so look at these choices here. It says manual, quick align. Quick align is the same as that we use in the mount. So manual align is the one that we need to use. So once you complete manual align here on the software, your, your uh, hand controller now is also ready to go to wherever it is going. So I'm just playing around with it for the first time. So based on what I read on the left hand side, everything should turn green. So the first step is to take the mount to the home position. So if you have AVX mount, you need to do it yourself, but make sure it is in that home position. CGX and CGXL, just put it in the home. I think this one is only for CGX and CGXL if I'm right. I don't know if it is going to work for AVX mount. Okay, so I don't think this will work for the AVX mount. Okay, so all right, so you, um, so if you see the left hand side, it tells you that your alignment points are certain points, like two points east of meridian, like two points west of meridian. That's what it's looking for. And once it has that, everything turns green. So you have to at least pick like four stars. Based on that four stars, it's doing most of the work. You don't need to do six stars, but at least you have to do four. So let me pick. So as you can see in the green in the back, I'm already polar aligned. Okay, so I'm picking a star. Okay, go to mirror flag and it's loose out your mount automatically. So 
So that one is up there. If you can see the yellow thing on top of your screen, right? Yeah. So it's slewed to the mound. Yeah, one thing you got to be careful is um, this software behind, like the keyboard, software keyboard that you see, is taking all the screen area. So you may need to kind of move, uh, you know, this is my sharp cam. So it shows the star where it is. So I'm trying to enable that, you know, the X mark. Okay, so yeah, I have to minimize this window to the left. Give me a second. All right, so now I can do both. It's going super fast. I need to reduce the rate. It's pretty neat. Actually, I like the buttons on the top. So, I mean, you can do this work from inside your house. I think that's one of the good things. So one of them is done, mount is home, and one alignment point is done. I'm picking the second star. I'm still picking the star on the west. So I have to pick two more stars on the east once I'm done with this. Wow. Yeah, I mean, this actually models it easier, so you don't need to do a whole lot. So by the way, if your star is not coming to your field of view, reset your mount, like reset your uh, hand controller. The reason mostly is because of all the bad learning it has got. So, I mean, if there is perfect polar alignment, your star should come into the field of view by the second one itself. Maybe not exactly to the middle, at least somewhere in the vicinity. So I'm going to one star to the east, which is the Sirius. This is east of Meridian. So you can see the Meridian on the, in the middle, in the left. The red line from the top to the bottom here. Similar to the, looks, looks to me like similar to the Stellarium. But it has the plate solving. I don't think I will have time today to get to that, but I'll just go up to the star alignment. All right, so it's a bright star. All right. That's perfect. So kind of, I'm, I'm saying add to the model. I really don't need to. But anyway, uh, you got the point. Another point I have to pick east of Meridian. So if I, I have to get all of them green. So like Dubé, Dubé is part of that uh, big deeper, right? Yeah, see that on the left in the corner. I learned the stars when I started learning taking pictures. By the way, I don't know before. Now I'm kind of like, they feel like street street address to be most of them. Okay, so yeah, 
uh, there is some backlash here. It's kind of not moving once now. Yeah, there is a little bit of backlash in this side. A little bit, not a whole lot. All right. That's it for today, guys. I'll say finish alignment. And it says accuracy, good. And then it says the alignment is now complete. Would you like to perform polar alignment via Celestron's all-star polar alignment routine? I'm saying no for now because I already did using the using the sharp cap. But anyway, I'll play around with this more. I'll let you guys know what I think about this one. But thanks for watching. Uh, download this and uh, enjoy the new software. Thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.